Mr. Clown here, Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at polynomials again and the intersection of curves. So what we're looking at really is if we take two curves, maybe two polynomials, a cubic and in this case a square, where is the point of intersection? Whenever you try to find the point of intersection between two things, whether it's a curve and a line or two curves, you substitute one curve into the other and solve the equations simultaneously. So we're just going to be solving simultaneous equations. Key point, you see intersection of curves or lines, you're going to be solving simultaneous equations. So a basic example to start with, we've got y equals 4x minus 4 and the parabola y equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. This comes from HSN page 21 question 1, but it really could be a national 5 question because it's just a quadratic. So since they're both y equals and we want to know the point of intersection, we can make the equations equal to each other. 2x squared minus 2x minus 12 will equal 4x minus 4. Moving on thing to the left hand side, 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equals 0. And it's a simple quadratic to solve. So the common factor is 2. So we get x squared minus 3x minus 4 is 0. Factorising, we get double brackets x and x, 4 and 1, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So x equals minus 1 and x equals 4. So we've got our x part, we now need to find the y part because we want the point of intersection. But remember, y was equal to 4x minus 4, so substituting both of their values in. For minus 1, we get 4 times minus 1, take away 4. That's minus 8. So the first point is minus 1, minus 8. And substituting 4 into this equation, we've got 4 times 4, minus 4. That's 12. So the second point is 4, 12. And we're done. So example 2 says, find the coordinates of the points of intersection of this cubic, or that equation, and this line with this equation. So we're solving them simultaneously because the points of intersection. They both say y equals, so we can equate the x side to the other x side. So writing that up, we get x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 10 equals minus 3x plus 5. Taking everything to the left, we get x cubed minus 9x squared plus 23x minus 15 equals 0. We've got a cubic to solve, so remember to do that we need to find one factor. Once we've found one factor, we can use synthetic division to get the rest. I'm going to immediately use synthetic division and try 1. So substituting f1 into this equation, we've got 1x cubed minus 9x squared, 23x minus 15. 1 times 1 is 1, minus 9 is minus 8, 1 times minus 8 is minus 8, 23 minus 8 is 15, 1 times 15 is 15, 15 minus 15 is 0. Since the remainder is 0, we have found a factor, the factor is x minus 1. So we know that for this equation here, we're going to have x minus 1 times x squared minus 8x plus 15, and that equals 0. So that's x minus 1, double brackets, x and x, 5 and 3, minus and minus. So we've got our three points, x equals 1, x equals 3, and x equals 5. And we need to now substitute that back into y to find the y part. So remember y was equal to minus 3x add 5. So substituting each of them in. So for this one, y equals minus 3 add 5, which is 2. For this one, y equals minus 9 add 5, which is minus 4. And for the last one, y equals minus 15 add 5, which is minus 10. Our points are 1, 2, 3 minus 4, 
five. Example three, the curves, this one y equals, and it's a quadratic, and this cubic are so mobile. So you can see the cubic goes here, and we've got a bit of the quadratic here, which would extend this way to make a parabola. And we have to find the coordinates, just the x part of a, b, and c. So you can see here, we've drawn us a picture, but it's asking us to find the points of intersection because it's where the curves touch. So we're just solving simultaneous equations, the same as usual. So we make this curve equal to this curve. We both say y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12 equals minus x squared minus 2x plus 4. Move everything over to the left hand side. We've got x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x and then 12 take away 4 is plus 8 and this equals 0 because everything's moved to the left hand side as per usual we've got a cubic to solve so we need to find one factor and then use synthetic division to factorise it and find the solutions 1 minus 5 2 and 8, substitute minus 1 in, 1 minus 1, minus 6, 6, 6 and 2 make 8, minus 8, we've got a remainder of 0, so that means that x add 1 is a factor, so we've got x plus 1, and x squared minus 6x equal to zero four and two minus and minus x equals one so it's my so x equals minus one x equals four and x it's just the x part of the coordinate we wanted us to find, so we don't have to substitute that in to find the y part. We're finished there. Find the coordinates of the points where the curves, and it's a cubic, and another cubic intersect. So the word intersect or meet means solve them simultaneously. Constantly the same thing. So we've got 3x cubed minus 10x squared plus 7x plus 5 equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10. Moving everything over to the left hand side as normal. That gives us x cubed on this side. Minus 10 add 3 is minus 7x squared. Only a 7x on this side. 5 plus 10 is 15 equal to 0. We've got a cubic to solve, so as per usual, we need to find one root just by trial and error, and then use synthetic division to find the other roots. Let's actually show the whole process this time. Let's try one first. So we'll get 1 minus 7 plus 7 plus 15. 1 plus 15 is 16, so that's not the one I'm looking for because I need to get an answer of 0. Let's try minus 1. So we get minus 1, minus 1 squared, take away 7, minus 7 plus 15. 1 take away 7 is minus 8, minus 7 is minus 15, add 15 is 0. So minus 1 is the one we want, we we'll now know one factor, x add 1. We can use synthetic division to find the rest. So we've got 1x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x plus 15 and we're substituting minus 1 in so that gives us 1 minus 1 minus 8 8 15 minus 15 and 0 there is our other factor there x squared minus 8x and 15 so we've got we're substituting minus 1 in so x plus 1 is the factor and then we'll factor x squared minus 8x plus 15. This number equals 
Dos Eagle. X and X, 5 and 3 make 8, and 15 when you times them, minus and minus equals 0, X equals minus 1, X equals 5, X equals 3. This has been Claire Master. Today we've been looking at the point of intersection between curves, specifically cubics and quadratics, or two cubics. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.